Hey everybody, welcome to this week's weekly roundup. Before I get started, I have to just say a huge thank you uh, to everyone who attended the tree lighting ceremony last night. We have been doing it at Sharp Corner Park and ran out of space uh, in the last couple of years of doing this. And I think if we would have had it there la uh, again last night, we would have for sure been into the road. So there were hundreds of people that came to the square to celebrate and kind of kick off the holiday season and it was magic. So thank you so much everyone that came and a huge thank you to our park recreation and forestry team. Um, obviously they do all of that planning, but on top of that, they do all of the prep work. So it really takes a whole department uh, to make that happen. So thank you to them as well. Um, I do want to remind everybody, they are doing the uh, business uh, Christmas tree contest. So I'd encourage you to walk through the square, uh, bring your phone, you can scan a QR code, and then that will help you uh, vote for your favorite decorated tree. Also today, uh, we are swearing in our new police chief. So Chief Brower will become chief in about 20 minutes. <laughs> um, so if you see him at all uh, this weekend or when you do engage with him, please just congratulate him and thank him for his willingness to serve our community. I wanted to provide a quick update on the town of Emmett annexation. Uh, this is something that was again started in the early 2000s and then that agreement was refined in about 2014. Uh, at a recent council meeting, the council gave us permission to kind of reopen and renegotiate that annexation agreement and the town of Emmett is, is doing the same. So we will be working now somewhat behind the scenes to um, identify things that we'd like to adjust in that agreement and then that agreement will eventually go back before our governing boards and bodies in order to um, have them review that and potentially approve it. So there will be some updates uh, to that as we go along. Next week at Council is a big one. Uh, next week we pass the 2024 budget. So if that's of interest to you, I'd encourage you to attend in person or online. And then before that, we're doing a committee of the whole meeting. So this is, we normally use this time to be able to just uh, engage and discuss a little bit more easily about one or two particular topics. This one we're going to be talking about the fire station. So if the fire station is important to you and you want to ensure um, the outcome of that project, that committee of the whole meeting and really the, the budget council meeting portion is the time. So I'd encourage you to participate. Next week, obviously, there's varying amounts of holiday breaks. Some have the whole week off. Some schools are just a couple of days. But I wanted to highlight a couple of things. We, I don't know, maybe in like the last four or five years, we've really tried to dial in on those school times that uh, schools are closed so we can offer fun and safe events for kids and families. So if you are interested in the puzzle contest, which I know is always a super popular one, that is up for the kind of the second contest, I think. The prize for that is a family pool pass, which is a good value. So I'd encourage you to participate. We are doing no school open pool uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in the afternoon. We're doing fall family bingo on Monday. And then we have going now all of next week, um, the large uh, Christmas tree ornament decorating. So that's an option for you as well. Also on the recreation front, we are doing soccer clinics and indoor soccer clinic sign up and that's predominantly the winter months, I think January through March. And then we're also uh, offering like four on four or two on two, all indoor soccer. The four on four and two on two is for like middle school and up. Uh, the other programming is uh, available to younger kids as well. The Senior Center is doing trips, which I think is great. I've worked in other areas of the state where their Senior Center uh, offered these types of trips. Right now, we're advertising for trips to Santa Fe uh, and some cruises. So if that catches your interest, I'd encourage you to contact the Senior and Community Center. The Interurban Trail is closed from November 18th to the 27th. This is for the deer gun season. So please don't go on the trail for your safety and the safety of everyone. Let's stay off the Interurban for just a couple of weeks. We are also doing boys and girls basketball skills and drills clinics uh, and then deck the houses back, which is always a favorite of my family's and I'm sure many other families. The deadline to submit your interest in being in deck the house uh, light decorating contest is December 3rd. Next week, City Hall will be closed Thursday and Friday and then the library is closed Thursday and they have amended hours on Friday. They'll be open 830 to 1. <clears throat> Jingle Bell on the Rock is coming. This is a new event on December 2nd from 12 to 7. There's going to be food, entertainment, activities, visits with Santa, holiday vendors. It's kind of our, our version of a Christmas market or a holiday market here in Watertown. So please pencil that date in and plan to attend. And then about two days later, pencil this one in too, uh, the CP Holiday Train is coming back to Watertown. So they'll be here on Monday, December 4th. They're going to be arriving at 7.50 for their concert. We will have events out at Brant Cork leading up to that time. We'll have hot cocoa and treats and then kind of light up toys for sale. Those will be cash only, so make sure you plan ahead for that. 
On the job front, we have an opening for a public works director slash city engineer. This is a super important position in our city and in our city leadership team. We also have an opening for police officers, a water distribution technician, and a water wastewater building and ground supervisor. And then we're also hiring right now some part-time help, so we need swim instructors and then some uh, sports staff. Because of Thanksgiving and the closure next week, we don't have any roundup for next week, so I um, want to wish you all a happy and blessed Thanksgiving. If you uh, need a little bit of help around Thanksgiving, the Moose Lodge here in Watertown is graciously providing meals, so you can definitely call ahead, I think, until the 22nd and pre-order your meal. Um, we're so thankful to them for providing that service for our community. This weekend is Women's Only Weekend, which means there's going to be a lot of bustling around the community, which is fantastic. Uh, whether you're participating in Women's Only Weekend or not, there are good sales and food options all throughout the community this weekend. There's craft fairs. There's just a lot of ways to kind of kick off the holiday season. And uh, obviously, good luck to all of our hunters out there. Please stay safe and have a good weekend. We'll see you back next week.